Is Christmas what you make it? We see commercials pushing this idea and Christmas movies that promote creating your own version of Christmas, but let's consider this more in depth for a brief moment. If we begin by presupposing that the biblical nativity story is not true, or we're not sure if it is true, then we might fall into the wrong belief that it is simply a legend with no historical evidence and that you can easily replace it with stories of Santa, the North Pole, and eliminate Jesus altogether from your holiday. Some people like to compare believing Christianity is true to having a belief in Santa Claus, unicorns, and magic, implying that Christians are believing things that are only make-believe. These people also generally don't believe in the supernatural and therefore reduce what the Bible actually is to a sorely misrepresented caricature. However, there are good reasons for why you should believe that the biblical nativity story is a true historical event, as opposed to a blind faith in the magical version and legend of Santa Claus and his elves and unicorns. My point is this, if Christianity is true and there are good reasons to reasonably believe it is, then the nativity story is true as well. It is part of a historical account preserved throughout time, documenting supernatural occurrences where God interacted in a very specific way with mankind, as was prophesied long ago. God in the person of Jesus took on human flesh in order to accomplish the Father's will so that the sins of those who believed in Jesus would be forgiven and they would have eternal life. And the Holy Spirit supernaturally brought about this pregnancy to a virgin. Within the worldview of Christianity, the supernatural occurs. This supernatural event is no hard thing for a God who created the universe from nothing. When you compare other worldviews to Christianity, you will find that they offer less answers for the big questions. Given there are good reasons to believe in the supernatural and specifically in the Christian faith, then it is quite reasonable to believe that God, who created the universe, created this supernatural pregnancy. Have you ever considered that God, in the person of Jesus, spent months in Mary's womb, developing organs, limbs, and going through the process of a human birth? God's love for us is unfathomable. We have a Savior that can relate with us, even in this basic human manner, and He is at the center of the nativity story, which I argue is what Christmas is. Although it is true that we get to choose our Christmas traditions, the Christmas story is not something you can eliminate or recreate your own version of during a holiday that has Christ's very name in it. The biblical Christmas story is to be believed or rejected, but because the people that documented it claimed their eyewitness testimony to be a true historical event, we can never change what they say they saw and heard or claim it was tampered with, offering no evidence for that claim. Christians understand that we should believe something is true only if we have good reasons to believe it is true and the nativity story has no shortage of good reasons to support its truthfulness. Christians must be committed to the historical, biblical account of the Christmas story and always keep Jesus at the center of Christmas. Remember this Christmas to keep Jesus as the focal point and don't allow your favorite traditions to squeeze him out of your holiday. If you'd like to hear more Christmas videos and Christmas songs I've made, check out the Christmas playlist I created on my YouTube page or find the link in the description below. And Merry Christmas, everyone!